Left leg up. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. Okay, push. Go left leg up. Boom. Now it's fine. So, the beginning of the session. Bob took put his hand in full supination, hurt his wrist, um, and the carpals. Uh, so, in response, we did some range of motion movements, we did some simple inhibition, and uh, some resisted range of motion activities. I did some mechanical vibration with the Pure Aid massager, and then I used the rock blade contoured surfaces to work on his form all the way around. Increased circulation, the redness, got a, a change in temperature, it's the main response to mobilizing the tissues, increasing that circulation, softening the muscles a little bit. Now I can supinate his hand without pain. So, and this is a step in the direction of helping him get this full function back. How high, yeah. We're getting that angle. All right, practitioners, yes, I'm well aware of pulley systems and stroke survivor's arms, but he is doing this following 30 minutes of orthopedic medical massage on the shoulder with instrument assisted tissue manipulation. And following that, 10 minutes a posterior extrinsic biphasic electrical stem on the lateral and posterior deltoids, supraspinatus, uh, rhomboids, infraspinatus, and latissimus dorsi um, fibers or teres minor, teres major fibers, uh, posterior aspect of the scapula, 
Uh, he had six pads running. his arm got him approved for occupational therapy and at OT they were they are working on this ability to push his hand forward and pronate it down so playing well with others as I always do OTs I hope you're listening and PTs pushing the arm out rope supinate or pronating down so we're engaging pecs anterior delt tricep and uh, supinator he is to relax on the recoil. So the weight is helping pull the arm out to facilitate proper kinematics of the movement, which is also a portion of the neural recovery scale. So we're phasing him, working on phasing him forward. To supinate his hand, the modified Ashworth score was a four when he first started. Now that's the two, easily. Pronation, same thing. Not, pronation is a one. There's no problem there. So modified Ashworth is improved. Now biceps, if I shorten it, it didn't resist. The change in length of tone, neurologic tissue resists the change in length. A rapid change in length. That's not resisting me. Now it, res it starts to apply right here, right here in this part of the range. This last little bit to straighten. And, and, but it's not hard, it's not, and notice it's not torquing his shoulder forward. You get a, a bicep that doesn't want to straighten in a stroke survivor and it's going to pull that shoulder forward. It's not doing it here. So now I just have to work on, the tricep doesn't want to lengthen beyond this. So I have to work on lengthening the tricep now that I have the bicep spinning. Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, working on Bob, uh, our standard twice a week massage that, he, that I work on. Um, on the brain, on the cerebral cortex, I got the Flex Pulse PEMF running on the tricep. I have electrical stem running to help, uh, to, you know, innervate. He innervates his tricep so he's able, able to get the arm down when it fires. But more recently, I've been working on his trapezius, and as you can see on this side, where his shoulder dropped down from the stroke, the effects of the stroke. So recently I discovered that he is starting to elevate his trapezius because before he was not elevating the shoulder. He was not using the muscles to elevate his shoulder. Go ahead, Bob, elevate it for me. Now he's contracting and it's elevating. So this, I'm, I'm mobilizing the tissue. Um, I'm Rock Blade certified. He's, you know, crush, big shout out to Rock Tape and Rock Blade and that crew. Um, love the skill set that they gave me, but I take that a step further for me at least. Walking down, walking down. Control. 
got to remember this. Yeah. It's not built for going down. <laughs> That's good control. Sorry, it's not catching me the way it normally does. Oh, you're good. Got to This is you walking down with no assist. Just the, the railing. Here we are. I want to zoom in. See. Well, oh, come on. Focus. Focus you. See my car, my Camaro sitting down there? That's his house. We came out from behind the, the back side of the house, out the garage, up the driveway. Zoom back out. Up the driveway and then walked up the hill to where we are now. Okay, so his gait training, he's getting up here faster. He's walking uphill, he's relying on me less. And all is good. Okay, far push. Good, relax, push. Relax, push. Relax, push. Good, relax, push. Good, relax, push. Yeah, relax, push. Relax, go. Relax, go. That is your gastrox. Go. Pushing. Relax, push. Good, relax, push. I'm pushing against this, but I'm not. I'm giving it resistance. Relax. I'm giving it resistance. Go. You see, if I let it go, you can't, now, if you try to pull your toes towards you, like pull them towards you, gastroc won't stretch easily for you to get into dorsiflexion. With the boys, do they have this aquinas that I have? Yes. Are there their ankles? The, the guy was telling Dr. Barrett was saying cerebral palsy patients, and he said kids. He said it's very common in children. This is the Japanese expectation. To the chair, left hand to the chair, yeah. lean to me, and up, explode up, boom, uh. there you go, balance, <clears throat> correct, yeah. there you go, right. okay, left hand to the chair, yeah. left hand to the chair, yeah. Yeah. there you go, yeah. explode, yeah. Bam. there you go, doing five, doing five, <laughs> three more, three more, there it is, yeah. big breath in, explode up, yeah, yeah. there you go. Breath in, explode. Yeah. Uh, Good. I got you. Yep. There we go. What? Another one? Yeah. You said one more. I said two more. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still the first one. Later. All right. All right. And explode. Yeah. There we go. Have a seat. See, you came out nice and soft that time. Mm -hmm. You didn't just you didn't hit that area <clears throat> and flop down. Yeah. Controlling. There you go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. All time. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Explosion. See, you 
pushing hard through that left leg and getting the asymmetries staying pretty good. Move on to that left. Make it work for us. Can you down here on your feet? Yeah. Nice and soft. That's what we want. Soft landing. Bicep is firing. It is. There we go. There we go. There we go. Nope. Mm -hmm. Shoulders back. Stand tall. Mm -hmm. Push through that left leg. Mm -hmm. Push it. Push hard through it. Mm -hmm. And pull. Bicep. <clears throat> Good. Relax. Relax. Leg open. with Mr. Wizard. I'm still fascinated with stuff, but now it's medical, you know, related to strokes. And mm -hmm. Yeah. This book on physical intelligence is fascinating. Okay, take a look up, see where you're going, you know what your direction is, get your bearings. You be getting better hit strikes outside. <laughs> you know, you ain't so much. directions for that guy's house. Oh, on Glen Book? Yeah. Okay, step over. Yep. Step long. Step long, good, get close, now step over, boom, yeah, balance, balance, there you go, okay, rotate, okay, same thing, get close, step over with the right, lead with the right, step big, step big and balance, boom, good, step past, it's a quality movement. Step right to the tip of the board. Step over. Step over. There you go. Good. So, balance. Rotate. So, we're going to create the motor program for you walking like this over 